In a heartwarming tribute to Queen Elizabeth II, the nation marked the one-year anniversary of her passing on September the 8th, 2022. The scene at Windsor this morning was nothing short of poignant, as the Queen's beloved horse, Emma, took a leisurely stroll in the late summer sunshine. As the sun bathed the historic grounds, Queen Elizabeth's lead groom, Terry Pendry, made his own tribute to the late monarch by leading out her favourite fell pony, Emma, in the very same grounds where Her Majesty once enjoyed her horseback rides. Queen Elizabeth was well known for her deep love of animals and horses held a special place in her heart alongside her adored corgis. As she peacefully passed away at the age of 96, her loyal dogs, Mark and Sandy, were by her side, accompanied by two trusted aides, a testament to the Queen's unwavering bond with her four-legged friends. The Queen's corgis held a special place in her heart and they played a vital role in providing comfort and companionship during the difficult times, such as the loss of her beloved husband, Prince Philip, in 2021. These loyal pets were gifted to her by Prince Andrew and his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, as a heartfelt gesture to help her cope with the loss of her life partner. Following Queen Elizabeth's passing, the corgis were returned to Prince Andrew's care. Today, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, shared a heartwarming photo of herself with the Queen's cherished pets, reassuring royal fans that they are thriving. In her touching tribute, she wrote, As we mourn a year on, we also celebrate the wonderful times we shared with Her Late Majesty the Queen. She entrusted me with the care of her corgis, Sandy and Muck, and I am delighted to say they are thriving. During Queen Elizabeth's committal ceremony last year, Prince Andrew was seen giving a sympathetic pet to Corgi's Muck and Sandy, a touching moment that showcased the close bond between the Queen and her family, even with her furry companions. Subsequently, it was confirmed that Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson will be looking after the pets at Royal Lodge in Windsor, where they reside together. Meanwhile, back at Windsor this morning, Terry Pendry, the dedicated head groom who had cared for the Queen's horses for 29 years, looked contemplative as he led Emma, the glossy black horse, around the sprawling grounds. In a touching and iconic moment, during the Queen's funeral last year, Emma, a 25-year-old, was seen stepping out to bid her final farewell to the monarch as the royal hearse arrived in Windsor. Mr Pendry, who had regularly ridden with the Queen and lived on the estate, remembered that the Queen's last ride on fell pony Emma was in July 2022, just two days before her departure for Balmoral. He recalled, It was an honour and privilege to have Emma with me to say goodbye to Her Majesty for the last time. I've been riding with the Queen for years, and the last time she was on Emma was back on July the 18th, two days before she left for Balmoral. I'm just so glad that Emma and I were able to say our goodbye at Windsor, where Her Majesty enjoyed riding her horses so much. As we reflect on the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, her enduring love for animals and the indelible marks she left on history, we are reminded of the bond she shared with her loyal pets and the timeless beauty of her equestrian pursuits. It's a touching tribute to a remarkable monarch who will forever hold a special place in our hearts.